Coming off one of the most frantic, dramatic summers in league history, with shocking trades and signings that shifted the balance of power to the West Coast and leveled super teams in favor of super duos, this NBA season was set up to be about the game, about basketball, about a diverse, open league with more teams feeling like they've got a chance to win it all than in decades. It didn't exactly go that way. Breaking news, Zion will miss a period of weeks because of a right knee injury. The presumed next face of the NBA, Zion Williamson, underwent knee surgery the day before the season tipped off, delaying his debut until late January. Uh -oh. Stephen Curry broke his hand two weeks in. Dubious start 2019-20 season, but as things do, it all passed. It was back to basketball. We've been in the gym. Behind a rejuvenated LeBron James, the Lakers roared out of the blocks. James lobs it up, and Davis throws it down. The reigning MVP looked like he spent the last summer getting better. He is unstoppable. Luka Doncic began to climb toward the upper tier of elite. Deep three, hit it! It looked like James Harden might average 40 a game, but was robbed of two of them after the dunk that didn't stay dunked controversy. The Clippers look to be the deepest team in the game. Are you kidding me? Electric rookie Ja Morant tried to dunk Kevin Love into another dimension. This is Vince Carter over Frederick Weiss, almost. Christmas Day featured the new battle for LA, with Bulldog Pat Beverly swiping LeBron to lock down a win. Knocked out of his hands. Spectacular defensive play in a big moment. But the holiday season ended on a somber note. On New Year's Day, three weeks after suffering a sudden brain hemorrhage, former NBA commissioner David Stern died at the age of 77. The league and the world mourned. Stern ruled with a pragmatic iron fist and grew the game exponentially expanding the league across the globe. But the game soldiered on. I did not call to play, I came to dominate. Zion formally introduced himself to the NBA, setting the league ablaze with the fourth quarter inferno. Welcome to the NBA! The Bucks were beginning a formal flirtation with 70 wins. LeBron and AD were the ruling party of Los Angeles. The Raptors just kept on winning despite no Kawhi Leonard. The 76ers were becoming a hot mess. Trey Young's mesmerizing offensive talent was must see. Then, on January 26th, the NBA was stopped in its tracks for a different reason. Kobe Bryant has died in a helicopter crash. There were nine people lost to the crash, including Bryant's 13 year old daughter, Gianna. The shocking news knocked the world to its knees. Games were minutes from beginning across the league. But impromptu tributes, 24 and eight second violations, set the tone for the oncoming outpouring of love and appreciation for the Black Mamba. The Lakers and Clippers postponed their game, with the Lakers taking the court five days later at Staples Center and LeBron delivering the season's true most valuable moment. I want to continue along with my teammates to continue his legacy, not only for this year, for as long as we can play the game of basketball that we love, because that's what Kobe Bryant will want. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out. But in the words of us, not forgotten. The game soldiered on. Houston went all in with their bizarre microball experiment. Victor Oladipo was back a year after blowing out his knee. The All-Star Game was a spectacular celebration of the game honoring both Kobe and Stern, while capping a memorable weekend with an all-time game. Damian Lillard went supernova for two weeks, and the reintroduction of the point god and the resiliency of the Thunder was quietly one of the best stories in the NBA. As the calendar flipped to March, the MVP race between LeBron and Giannis was tighter than ever. but seconds before the Jazz and Thunder tipped off in a game that was for the current four seed in the West. The game, the sports world, the country came to a stop. 
The game tonight has been postponed. A player, Rudy Gobert, had tested positive for the coronavirus. Within minutes, the NBA season was suspended. It's time to return unknown. This season, with the focus supposed to be on the floor and a deep field of contenders setting up for one of the most open postseasons in years, the season is stuck on pause. But it will be back. The game will soldier on again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.